They can hear me though. Not for long. Testing, testing, one, two. All right, we're lit. What is up, people? All right, so for anybody watching on the replay, this is my FMS. Uh, I think they call this a 124 scale, which I don't understand why Why it's like the size of a 118. I look at it as a, as a 118. It, right now, it's sporting the MoFo um, RC monster truck wheels. I have the RC all-wheel drive extended um, rear suspension links with the RC RC all-wheel drive um, drive shaft as well. Everything else is stock on the truck aside for these uh, extended shocks, and I believe these are RC all-wheel drive as well. Nope, they are from some other company. Right there. All right. I'm not even going to attempt to say that company name. But issues I'm having right now is, as you can see, I moved the mount from the actual tower mount down to the chassis itself on this side. During one of my runs, it uh, pulled out and then I lost the screw. So that hole is basically stripped out. If I could get a nut the size of the screw, I could hold that on, but I don't have anything like that. And then the other issue that I have is the screw came out of the roll cage over here when it took a spill. And then other than that, 
The body's in somewhat decent condition. It's missing the bumper, missing a windshield wiper, and I'm missing the air breather. I have a lot of parts for this truck. I have rims, which I am undecisive of which rim I want to stay with. So either this one or this one, or make it a dually. Like, I don't know what I want to do with this thing. I like the deep dish look, but then again, this is more related to the... It looks more like the original red um, farmer look one there. So those are the three options that I have and just don't know which one to go with. Decisions, decisions. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Make it look a little bit more original and everything. So let's switch over to the overhead. I got the bubble working. Oh, the bubble is working. Oh, there we go. All right, so let's get some of these screws out and see what we got. And that's the other thing, too. I would like to vent these so that way if I put weight in them, it'll squish down. And everything right now, I don't think let's take one of these things apart. Let's see what we got going on. So this rim is from MRC. I found these on Amazon. So you can see these are MRC rims. They look pretty good. I got them wrapped with the Super, Super Swamper Endura Super Swampers. And that's going to be the number right there. T10118. My bad, my eyes are dried out right now. I just put my drops in, but I'm waiting for it to, to work a little bit. About to crack a window. It's too dry in my in my apartment behind me. Alright. So we're taking these off. Boom, 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 boom. I just want to take a look at these rims. Probably only gonna be live for about like an hour. It's 12.07 right now, I'll cut this off at one. But yeah, I just, there's a lot that I wanna do to this truck, and then there's a lot that I don't wanna do to this truck, which is everything. So the issues that I'm having with these rims right now, why I'm in such a debate to switch these rims out, but don't know if I should or not, is going to be the fact that if you could see, uh, you can hardly see it. Yeah, you could just see it right there. You could just see right there. See how the tires getting chewed up right there on the inside? There you go. You can see it all around over there. So you see all the chew, the the way it's getting chewed up. So why is that happening? Is because this truck decided to eat my tires. Let's take off one of these monster wheels. I just seen something that happened that I don't think was supposed to happen. Oh, I put a new thing. So this piece right here is making the rim get chewed up because these tires don't, the offset is so deep that they're going in. Let's show you. 
So you see what I'm saying? So it's like chewing up on the top. Can you even see that? Yeah, it's dark. So it happens in the front, it happens in the back. I think I have the solution right here with these, these little aluminum extensions that I got that came with another vehicle. Don't know if these are gonna fit on here. Nope, they're not. So that's not gonna work. That's great. So I need to get specific um, extensions for this truck. Is that happening with my, no, nope, it's not happening with this. So now I don't, I don't I'm not. <sighs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these on here because I don't have extensions. Do they even make extensions for this thing? James. Morning, Hugo. What up, James? I don't know what I want to do with this thing. I got like no motivation. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I control these things. I think it's stupid to try to drill it while it's on, but... Uh... Does that look all right? just really pissed off that this thing is rubbing on the inside. It's going to chew up my tire. Just chewing up brand new tires, man. Let's get that bright so we can see. Yeah, she's just dogging up that tire right there. Need spacers. I don't have spacers for these rooms. Oz, was that Adam eighty two? Yeah, I'm in the dilemma. I don't know. I don't know. You guys can see that, right? It's tearing up the inside of my tire. If I keep it up, it's gonna just tear that up to the point where it's just, can't run these tires on here. And I tried to put these rims on, 
And it does the same thing. Like the offset is just there. James says, looks like... Okay, what happened? Need some hex spacers. Yeah. I just don't... It's not in the budget right now. The budget is zero. <laughs> the budget is minus zero. <laughs> yeah, this this one does almost the same thing. It's that top piece on the... It doesn't even need that much space. It needs like a... With how deep these damn rims going, look at look at how how much. Look at how far back they go. Look at how much room I have there. Wonder if I just put some. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop complaining. I'm gonna stop bitching and moaning. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna take those aluminum. Actually, I have hex extensions. I have them right here. I have these 10 millimeter joints. They need to be bored out more. That's the problem. Just, I don't have a vice anymore. I only have two of these, but I have these, which I think these are a little bit bigger than these. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Just this stupid thing. All right, so just this. This is what's on here, the black one, and then this aluminum one. Come on, focus. Should be enough, but I have to bore that hole out. It's too small. Do you have any small washers? I do, but the only ones that I have are the ones that go inside the differential, and they're thin, like two sheets in the wind thin. <laughs> Actually, it's thinner than that. <laughs> okay. Osborne says, use some O-rings from your shocks to put on behind the wheel. Yeah, I was thinking about that, but with my stupidity and how I torque the... <laughs> The bolts down, it's just going to, like, flatten them out. I know what you're talking about, though, Oz, and I've done it before with these O-rings. But like I said, I have this. I just need to bore this out. This this is nothing. I'm going to get a... Let me get my drill and find a bit to bore this out a little bit. So give me one second. I will be right back. All right, all right. Audio's good. All right, so let's get some of these things into place. Hang that up. Love stepper bits, man. I know it's more for plastic. Well, I usually used to use them more for plastic, but it does work for lightweight aluminum. So, stepper bits, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't have, get them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, I'm not kidding. Get them. They're awesome. All 
I'm hitting every button but the ones that I want to hit. All right, funny story. This thing, unreal. What is going on? Holy crap. So, my finger, you know how you got static electricity? My finger shocked this screen on the bottom here. I'll show you guys. This little screen right here. And ever since that happened, it's been acting really weird. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, let's see. If we can get this pop a lop in. I need a pair of pliers. Plier, hold on. Better than a pair of pliers. Sweet. All right, let's see if we're going to... Uh, we're either gonna make it work or we're gonna really wreck some sheesh. So we're gonna open this one up, close it down inside. Do not try this at home, kiddos. This might be the last time you guys see me do it live because I'm gonna, this thing's gonna go ding! Hit me right in the eye. Let's get this over here. Can we see? Oh, there we go. And just like I thought, yep, this is going to be garbage. Playing games. Playing games with the baby toys. I know James is looking at me. He's like, "You should have known better, brother." <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> James is like, "No, that's not how you do it. That's how you do it if you want to try to keep the aluminum from scratching." But I should have did this from the other side. Oh, hell yeah! That thing's boring out really good. Well, oh, sorry about the audio. You want me to put you guys on mute? Mute? Yep, so my dumbass just did that. <laughs> I poured it so far down, I took the... <laughs> I took the... The indentation's off for the pins. <laughs> it fits, though. <laughs> Priceless. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, hold on. Let's see. How much does it really need? Let's see. Just a little bit. No, it's basically everything that it's got. Overhead. Let's see. Yeah, there's no way of doing it without losing. Yeah, it's like almost, it's almost flush with that piece. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. So this is the one that I just cut. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll put them together to show you guys the difference. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Yo, right down. <laughs> oh, it's priceless. This this was such. It was so light. It just went right through, man. All right, let's see if I could just do the one step because it is a stepper bit. Maybe I went too far. So I want to just go the one step down. So let's see. See if we could do that. 
if we could get that done and still have some meat there for the pin to hold on to. Is that it? Oh, 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 I think we got it. What? No. It wants 12 more pounds of flesh. Oh man, I think it almost just fits. Look at that. And then the pinhole was right there. I wonder if it's stopping. Let's go from the other side. Let's see, let's see, let's see. If we get this working, that'll be hilarious. That means we only have three. I'm gonna just tell you right now how these tires are gonna wobble because that hole is not centered anymore, bro. <laughs> oh snap, I got it. It's so tight. All right, let's see if we can get a pin on this. That is hilarious, man, hilarious. I seen somebody wrote something, give me one second. I'm gonna look right now. Right. Put your pin in and see what it does. Yeah, I'll try that one in a minute. It it's just gonna go deeper than the the one that I have now. So we got this one set up. Yo, this thing is stupid right now. Look at how this is holding. Come on, focus, man. Focus. Look at the way the pin is just hovering out, wanting to drop out. Like, I need to put an O-ring on that pin just to hold the pin in there. How crazy beans is that? The rim, the rim ain't even gonna hold it because it doesn't go all the way doesn't go all the way down on the rim that's freaking hilarious yep and it just like that's just as far down as it goes all right so let's get an o-ring I'm gonna wrap an o-ring around here here Oz I got the o-ring <laughs> He's like, no, that's not what I meant. I know exactly that this is not what you meant, bro. But we're going to attempt this stupidness. I don't, I don't see how I'm going to do this one. But we're going to try. Let's see, let's see. Oh my god, I had it on there, popped off. Come on. I, I can't believe it. I'm showing the overhead. Hold on, guys. Peep it. I can't believe I got that. All right, let's see. And the pin falls out. All right, all right, all right. Come on, line them up. Let's get the pin in. Oh, look at this BS. Oh, oh, oh. It's in, but it pushed the, the O-ring back. 
instead of going around it. How funny is that? All right, that's all right. We get the pick Lucy. My bad for that loud bang. There's one side. This is retarded, man. I can't do this like this. Yep. Yep. There we go. I can't believe I got that. Okay, let's see how far. It's still a little close. That's stupid. Now I gotta get some proper spacers for this thing. Definitely gotta get some proper spacers for this thing. Put the pin in and see what it does. Yep. All right. That concludes this bull crap for this evening. I'm gonna put that back in. This one's destroyed. I'll throw away this stuff later. to do now I'm gonna have to order just order one I mean Oz got the good idea with the with the rubber on behind it I just don't think it's enough it might be enough actually hold up hold on hold on oh no that's not gonna work dang Just throw some mofo rims on it. <laughs> I was thinking it as I was thinking it, bro. And I have all the parts and whatnot. I just, yeah, all right, I'll just do that. As a matter of fact, because I, this is how much I was thinking about it. This is actually the rim. That is uh, supposed to go on here. You know what? Since we got this out, why don't we drill a hole through this, we'll vent this, and then we'll put this on. So, what do I need? A 0.5 mil. I gotta get that rag back out here. You know, the only thing that I don't like about this rim with the red is the, the screws. I prefer the black screws, which I have them on my other my other FMS truck. I just think, in, for me, and how I like to run my trucks, like the style, I like it better because I'm not too... I'm not a fan of the flashy. The chrome and all that. All right, let's let's vent these fuckers. All right, let's get the. Let's get the the rag back out. Turn that back down. That good? Yep, that's good. Let's put this away. Yeah, I like black hardware too. Yeah, hell yeah. There's the difference. Oh, I, I like it a lot better. I, did, I definitely just like it a lot better, the black hardware. All right, give me one second.
Okay, so. Oh, I kept the truck here. Dope. <laughs> yeah, I need my goggles. You know, I'll be honest with you guys, I've been working on the the ability to bring people in to the live stream. I got it worked out for one person, extra person right now, a little bit better. I just didn't do the audio yet. That's not good. Uh, go straight down. My bad. I'll put you guys on mute. Alrighty, let's take a look at that. So we got the one, two. Pretty decent, a little bit off. This one's too much to the rim outside that I don't like. This one's pretty much in the middle, so that's pretty decent. These, as long as they're just away from each other. So that's vented. All right, where's the tire? Where's the tire? Where'd the tire go? Running away from me. I think this one has the bead, the... Not the bead lock. All right, get this cleaned up and out of the way. Yeah, I was trying to watch you guys live. I missed the Tiny Truck Tuesday. Work was getting crazy. Didn't even have a time to, a chance to sit down. Really, I'm gonna need that one. So I don't know if you guys seen, but the Red Cat uh, scent, the 118 is out of stock. I think James knows that. I was telling him on one of the lives, I believe. And then uh, the Fusion, the Red Cat Fusion is out of stock as well. I believe they re-up on the, on the 8th. It's all good, brother. No worries. Appreciate you, Oz. Thank you, thank you. You know I'm always down to support that stuff. <laughs> I just had to get that work done. And why not? I got so many parts for this truck. Old parts too from Trill. I was supposed to do a build on this and then I just never did it. And I have all the parts, but I keep having these issues with the rims and whatnot, so I don't really want to do it. Yeah, I thought so. This has an insert in it. Oh, sorry, guys. There we go. Back it out a little bit. So, yeah, this has an insert in it. Sweet. Got an insert in the tire. So, this this should be really good. I blame Oz for this one. Just throw some mofos on it. Damn real, bro. When in doubt, mofo that sucker out. <laughs> Put these back away. Oh. Don't 
It's all copywritten music, so be careful using my my theme songs. Why is this not going? Ah! What the hell is going on here, man? What, am I rushing too much? What the hell? And I still got my protective glasses on. Uh, I just... I just always stop and say... What would James do? And I throw mofo on it. <laughs> I like that one. That's going to be my go-to now, too. <laughs> what would James do? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Throw my phone on it. Oh man. That's great. And it's funny because I was I, I know I have the I don't have the brass, but I have his um wheel extensions. And I know they fit because they're on my other mofo the the dually that I just showed you. These things. Have these and I think like three different sizes. But I don't have the brass ones. Alright, so this is assembled. That could be put away. Oh my god. Did I just do that? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I don't know why. I'm missing a screw. Oh, okay. Let me put this last screw in here. And then... Let's see... Laugh for my ass. <laughs> the aluminum. The aluminum are just as good as the brass. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not. It's not about the quality. What I'm, is the weight. Like, I love the weight. When you throw mofo aluminum, it's like so for a lack of a better word that I, I could come up with right now, raw. So it's like crazy heavy weight. It's like just dumb weight. It's like rah, all the weight that you could you could get on it and everything. That's that's what I like about it. So when I run run the brass, like it's it doesn't matter if it has um foam, real air, whatever the hell you want to put in the tire, it's gonna deflate that damn tire. Like it's gonna bog down on it. That's why I like the weights and everything. But yeah, the brass, the aluminum is just as good as the brass otherwise. But weight-wise purposes, yeah, I like throwing that on there. What is going on? I can't get this sucker lined up. I hate when I do that. Nope. That was way off. Is that it? Is that it? Oh my god, it's like how am I off? The small the the larger holes are, are good. It's the ones that I gotta put the screws are in are off. Oh nope. That's off. What is going on? This is why you don't see a lot of people do mofo videos. With their rims. You gotta have Mo Fulton patience to get these rims on. <laughs> you gotta have Mofo patience. Not regular patience, Mofo patience. Come on. Oh, she's all over the place right there, man. Oh my goodness. Just trying to line that bad boy up. Let's go, let's go. Again, with the outer ones lined up, the inner ones off. What the fudge? Oh, I think I got it. Is that it? That's not it. The inner ones. The inner ones are lined up, the outer ones are off. Oh, God, this is... 
but the community wait what okay but the community i have the most rims from are but the company i have the most rims are from texacoma c rc 3d printed wheels oh yeah I'm not going to lie. The most rims I have, the most wheels I have are from Endura. Mofo would be the second most wheels I have. I think that's it. That's it right there. Perfect. See, it's when you don't think about it is when you get it. You overthink it and you don't get it. It's like kiss my mofo and ass. All right, hold on. I see you're writing. Give me one second. Give me one second. I just want to try to get this. Oh, I'm not even in the frame. Overhead. What the hell? I'm done. Yo, I'm trying to do this so fast and so thing. Look at how I put the screw. Focus, man. I know these rooms will definitely work. There we go. Give me one second, because once I'm done this wheel, putting I'm just putting the two screws on. I'm going to go over the computer and try to send somebody a link. See if we hang out for... Oh, no, I'm about to get off this thing. It was an hour live. I gotta set up the audio for the guests still. So, other than that, this <laughs> is the worst live ever. I think all my lives are the worst lives ever. All right, let me see. Uh, but he uses the Mofo Hub, though. Oh, that's cool. So all his 3D printed rims are based off of the hubs. These. Oh yeah, that's got. It's got some Betty in there now. You know what? Hold on a second. Let's get this drill out of the way. Uh, let me see what we got. What we got? I have three from Texacoma, two from Mofo, two from Endura, one Maz, and one off brand. James, would you say giggity? Is that say giggity? <laughs> I'm fucking done. Yes, sir. He is. Oh, that's not somebody else. Somebody's name. My bad. <laughs> yes, sir. He is on team. Mofo. Oh. All right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I think I'm going to take the rims and tires off of this one. Camera's angled bad. My bad. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rims and tires off of this dually and build up the other truck as a dually build. And nope, that's not the one. Look at the mofo tools. Hold on. Oh, snap, Rob RC, what up? Is that, am I saying that right? Rob's. Is this the right tool? Get in there. Troy. 
Troy's in the house? Somebody said Troy. What is Troy? Oh, Troy, what up? Urban James Mike. Da -da -da. Nice. What up, everybody? You guys seeing me in my disaster. <laughs> you missed it. I don't I don't vent my rims or tires because I got a lot of water and mud around me. Yeah, but with these I, would you still have to worry about that with the inserts, with the Andorra inserts? Because they're like waterproof, bro. They're silicone. And if I, from my understanding, silicone doesn't mold. And why isn't this bolt? Why isn't this getting down to the dang bolt and taking the bolt off, man? Let's go. Making me look bad. I'm live for crying out loud. It's not working. And it's the mofo and tool. Was it this one? No way. No, hell no. That doesn't even fit. What is going on? Just have five from doing. Chris, what's up? What is that? Rob's just having five. From doing this project. Just having five. This project. I don't understand that one. I have a custom. I have a custom one that I believe is the one for this. By custom, I mean I just grinded it down. I can't believe this thing ain't coming off already. Let's go. Holy crap. There we go. You get on. There we go. Why was that mofo one not working? What the heck? I could have sworn that one worked for this. Now it's stuck. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. So yeah, if I build this one up, which I, I don't even know. Man. I just, I like the trill stuff. I want to build this one up. I have a, a aluminum chassis for this and everything, so. So if I do put these on, I'm just going to make it like the four wheeler. Why are these tires so small? Man, these are small. What size is this? Oh, 63. These are 68. No, these are 64. It's only one millimeter bigger. Wow. It's only one millimeter bigger. They look, you know, yeah, it looks about one millimeter taller. Hey, Robbie, Chris. Basically, I had, uh, okay, Rob's saying, basically, I'm having a rest from doing projects. I'm actually building. Oh, all right. Get you, get you. Yeah, all my projects are on hold. I'm waiting for damn parts all over the place. Um, Here, Oz and James. This is the... Oh, no. I think it was just James and the other guy, Jimmy. Or Jane. Wolf. Rock Wolf, this was the build that I was telling you guys about. I put the, I finished putting the axles and the links on it and everything, but still sitting there. Uh, it needs a, what does it need now? It needs a servo. It has suspension. It needs a servo and a battery and wheels. And then I can start tearing it up. And everything. It doesn't have any bearings or anything. It has brass links. I have my tarantula is all tuned out. This thing is sick. So I tuned the motor. I got the motor to to work without fidgeting. It doesn't, 
you know, like, eh, 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 anymore and whatnot. So I want to take this out for a crawl, but it's, like, torrential downpouring over by me. So, obviously, I can't take it out. Um, this build is on a complete hold. This is the Orca build. James seen the issue that I had with the transmission with this thing, so still waiting on the transmission to come in. I ordered a new transmission. I don't know if you guys seen it. It's that um, Endura with the has a bigger motor, a 570 motor on it. Uh, with the transmission with the 570 Endura motor on it, I, I believe that's the one. I'll go look at the website now and everything. But um, yeah, James said I got two. Direct power back label. What? Wait, hold on. Am I reading that right? I got two direct power black label servos coming from MoFo. Should be here tomorrow or Friday. Oh, sweet. I have a servo for it. I just, well, yeah, I have a servo that I can use for it. I just, I got this one. I got this one on uh, the recommendation of that, that YouTuber. Oh, my God. 2FM RC. 2, I think it is. You guys know who the guy is. So, yeah, I got this one, but I didn't get the aluminum horn. So, if anything, I'm going to put this in there. But I think this servo is too long and everything. Um, I want to do a build. And I want to get that other reef servo, the small one that, that they have. Throw, throw that up there. Oh, my God. Throw that up there. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do. I think this one's going to get all the dually stuff. This one is going to get just these rims. I'm going to drop this down to the ground. And this is going to be the crawler. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to swap the bodies over. And I'm definitely going to swap the whole drivetrain. Because this has a brushless motor in it. This thing is wicked. I don't know if I showed you guys this. So. The only thing is it's stuck in first gear or second gear. Because I didn't put the... Yeah, so a little micro camo too. I took the shifting servo out because I couldn't get it to plug into this. Uh, Lizard Ultimate. I will not. Oh, yeah, look, I'm crushing the wires over here. Didn't even know it. Didn't even know it. So when the motor stops working, that's why I don't like this body too much. Like, Oz, you got the, the Bronco. That's what I think I'm going to... I wanted to do that, too. I don't know. There's so many things that you want to do, thinking of doing. Maybe I'll just leave that build there, put the tire back on it. <laughs> Or sell it. Let's sell it. What do you think that guy, what this guy would be worth? AG ain't bad. 2FM Matt. Yeah, that's the guy. 2FM Matt. AFG. I don't know what AFG is. This has an insert in it. No, it doesn't. That's foam. That's foam with no ventilation. <laughs> Most of my trucks are SCX24 based on What am I doing? Based. I only have one FMX24, which is the K5 Blazer. Yep. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I want to do. It's like a lot of work, and let's do I record it or do I do it and then just show it? I think I'll just do it and then 
won't show it. But if I put all the trill stuff in, in this truck, the bodies are going to get switched over. This is going to be all aluminum at that point. Because I have the frame. That servo that I just showed you guys, I would probably want to put it in this, but I don't think it's going to fit. Because this doesn't... That's not a lot of room from, from that link right there. I don't know, so, I don't know. Wouldn't mind getting an FMS power wagon. Yeah. I believe you. I don't know if I should sell this one. When I first built it, I wanted to sell it, but I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, the power wagon's all right. It's just the 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 body's so tight. Like everything is so crammed in there. I mean, it's a little bit like that with the blazer, but not as bad as the it is with this thing. Oh, I just broke. That just broke. Oh no, it didn't break. It just popped off. That screw, that screw was missing. I'm constantly like pinching wires in this thing. I don't know. I wouldn't mind getting an infamous power. Read that one already. All right, I'm going to switch over to the desktop and see what is new on Enjoyer's website and see if MoFo has what I want. So I'm going to put you guys on a brief pause and I'm going to go over there. Oh my god, what is this? So this is the motor. My bad. Oh no, what the heck? Sorry about the music. I meant to be right here and be like, oh my god, what is this? So we got new products. Oh yeah. Alright. So... You guys don't need to see my face, right? Yeah, didn't think so. Alrighty, so this is the motor that I got. It's the 370 brushless motor, aluminum, blah, 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 blah. I got some plans. So this is going to go in the... in the Orca build that I'm doing. And then I'm going to see how this motor runs. And then I have some other plans and ideas. This is a tow hitch for the actual it says unavailable right now yeah that's so funny and it just dropped so this is basically it it um it's supposed to hook up i, I was thinking about getting this i like the way it hooks up and we're not what am i getting okay so yeah that that looks pretty dope uh, I'm going to shut my lights off over there. There we go. All righty. Uh, 
And what is this? 60 bucks. Why is this 60 bucks? What is this thing? Enjoy a vehicle display ramp bridge crossing obstacle kit. 110, 118, 124 scale. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, so what's the dimensions? That looks pretty cool. They should have put a measurement. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So in my opinion, they should have put a measurement on. Oh, let me show you guys my. Sorry. So right here. Uh, should I use the pen? There we go. Right here along the side, they should have put a measurement, in my opinion. To So it would be a bridge slash obstacle course slash articulation. Uh, you know what I mean? It'll tell you your articulation and everything. That would have been dope. All they needed to do was put some measurements right here. That, that looks pretty cool. Oh. Sorry about the bump in the... Was that all the pictures? Did I go through all the pictures? Sixty bucks, huh? That's a one ten scale. That's the one twelve. That's the high trail. Yeah, F F C X ten. Yeah, I thought so. See right there. Right there. Could have did articulation. Almost there. Could have been almost tall enough. Alright, so the size of this thing is 14. Oh, that's a good. That's nice. 14.7. What is that? 14.17 inches. 14 by 17? No, that's not right. I'm reading that wrong. Is this under half? Over half? 360 millimeters. 400. It's just five inches. It stands up just under four inches. And it's just under two inches wide. That's pretty dope. And that's going to be the two pack for 60 bucks. One for 30.99. Man, they got the red cat, they got axles for the red cat. Nice, very, very nice. Let's see here. Yeah. What do you guys think? I should get this truck or not? I, I have a, a strong feeling that it's it's a lot like the... I want this in black. Come on, give it to us in black. Give it to us in black. You know, I seen somebody do a... Uh, I seen somebody do some link swaps on that thing. All right. Yeah, my live stream is garbage. Let's uh, shut it down. All right, peoples. For those of you who jumped in and stayed, thank you. For those of you who jumped in and left, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to shut down this live because I got nothing else to do. It's 1 o'clock. I was only going to stay on for an hour. Uh, James and... Oh, my God. Osborne, if you guys are there. Ooh, excuse me if you hear this. Um, I'm working on the audio. Once I get the audio straightened out, I'll be able to pull you guys in on the live again. And we can hang out. It's going to be pretty cool because I got this thing going. Let me show you guys real quick. 
So I could do the picture in picture. Boom. What up? Oh, snap. Look, it got Oz. Tiny Truck Tuesday. <laughs> Is that who's writing? I am still here, brother. Oh, okay, cool. Have a good rest of your day, y'all. James, thank you. So next time, let me just get the audio fixed up, and I'll be able to pull in a guest. And I'm working on the four the four guests i'm still working on the template that's what this is going to be right here so it's going to be four guests and everything i got to do the background and everything like that something like this one and we'll see how it goes but yeah for now and it's pretty cool because if i go over to the no the desktop has its own things or not there'll be two guests here Boom, boom, boom. I got Osborne's name on everything. I was practicing. <laughs> Alrighty. So, back to me. With that being said, my name is Hugo. Thank you guys for watching. Later.